Thank you for coming back to Polka Dot Mailbox, and if you're new, welcome. Today I am working with Cartabella's Spring Market Collection Kit. I am going to create a pocket letter. If you watched a previous video where I created an entire Happy Mail box as part of a Spring Swap 2019, then you would have seen this as one of the handmade items that was in that box. The idea with the swap that we did, it was a group of ladies doing a mystery swap and we didn't know who it was that was creating for us. So we each had a different person that we created for was different than the person that we received from. So this was for Miss Avali and she is uh, on YouTube. I can link her channel below as well as the video where I created um, the whole box for her. But if you wanted to see the individual pocket letter and how it turned out, you can watch this process video. So I had a lot of fun with this collection. I couldn't believe how many things I was able to create out of this one 12 by 12 collection kit. I really like the Cartabella papers. They are so luxurious and so textured. They have a really nice feel and they make awesome projects. So this is really cute colors and the collection that I created was so different for spring because it has a lot of black in this collection just accents of black which you wouldn't think of as a spring color but the way it all came together was really a lot of fun so I'm creating a shaker pocket at the top which is something that I like to do and I'm just picking out the sequins one of the things I wish that we had better access to in our area was a good choice of sequins. These ones are just from our dollar store. So I'm in Canada and that's uh, where I got these ones from. The orange and pink ones were in an, a pack in an actual kit. I think it was, it might have been a Paige Evans package, but the way that all the colors go together works really well. I tied in again these are not what you would expect for spring colors with the pinks and the oranges but it really turned out cute. These little flower sequins are fun because they add a really nice element of sound for the shaker and they also they hold the shaker pocket they give it a little bit of dimension so that you can have things move around. If everything was just flat it wouldn't move around as well with having those three-dimensional shakers in there. So at first I tried thinking about putting some paper in behind them, but I end up leaving it blank because it just looks really cute. I had tucked that piece of paper in behind so you could see sort of what I was doing. I'm just going to take one of the stickers from the Element sticker sheet and put it across there. The nice thing about these collection kits is they come with a really nice display of the pattern papers to choose from and the element stickers and that's all that you get in the collection kit but because it has so many things in it they have cut aparts either the three by fours or four by sixes sometimes both or sometimes they even have square cut aparts in the pages or elements of the pages that you can cut out and create tags it really makes it easy to create beautiful things with this one kit. So I'm just going to tie a piece of ribbon around that element sticker and that ended up being a cute accent on the front of the pocket there. I had really liked that bottom row the way that it is the line of all of the pots and flowers like they're lined up on a flower market table. And then that cute truck, I wanted to be sort of the focal point for the whole page. And I was really happy with the way that it came out. I had picked those subtle backgrounds so that there's so much color and design going on with each of the features of the collection that I wanted to keep everything sort of subtle in the background. So I keep a lot of the ivory sort of or plain backgrounds instead of really busy patterns. 
So I stick those little cute rain boots on that card and they're just peeking out behind the flower that way. It looks really cute. This is another thing that they have is those border stripes. So I'm just going to cut a piece of that border strip off and again you can cut these elements apart and use them in so many different ways. I at one time cut a little truck like that big version that's on the sticker. It, that's a really big sticker to use and when it works perfectly for this project but when you are trying to create like a scrapbook layout or something it was really nice to have the ability to just fussy cut one of those trucks and it wasn't a lot of intricate lines or anything to cut out and it looked really cute so one of those border strips had a whole bunch of little trucks and they ended up being perfect little almost like you had got them in an ephemera kit. So it was, uh, it was really good. I really, really liked that. So I'm gonna put some washi on the side just to seal off the edge, and then it can be taken off again after. I'm starting to collect these pocket pages from other crafters that have sent happy mail to me. So I wanna put them in a binder, and I've allowed the user to be able to put this in a binder as well. She can even just punch the holes, over top of the washi or just take the washi right off. So I'm using my We Are Memory Keepers Fuse tool. I'm really getting a lot of good use out of that. I always have a piece of paper on the bottom of my plastic when I am putting the strip to seal it off. And I find that that works really well. At first I thought I might need to get like a special mat or something that was a material that wouldn't melt. But in the end, a piece of paper was the best solution. So I, that's why that paper is underneath there. So here I'm gonna layer some Prima flowers with a button in the middle and then that beautiful flower wreath. And I just love the way that that adds such a nice dimension and touch to the bottom of the page. So because the bottom was so busy, again, I tried to keep something that was not super busy that didn't have a lot of pattern so but it brought some texture in so that flower sort of makes the busy takes away from the busyness of the background papers and here i just used a little piece of lace to pop up out of the card and then i like the way that that looks sitting against the sequined pocket there it looked really cute and again bring some element stickers in to decorate the um, top of the pages and I end up settling in on this cute little mason jar and another little smiles word. Of course, I'm going to add some enamel dots, one of my favorite ways to finish off a page. I really love the way that both enamel dots and ribbon as well add just a nice little texture and finishing touch to any project. So if you saw the box where I um, finished this off and sent it out, you just fold this into three and I put one of those beautiful gold clips to hold it all together and then I tied it with a ribbon as well. So even uh, the presentation of it was really pretty. And of course I filled the back pocket with all sorts of little gifts and the gifts actually matched the other side of the page. So if you turn it over, you would see I had some gorgeous crocheted orange hearts and um, some cute arrow paper clips. So everything um, that I had included in the back was really well coordinated with the colors that I had used here on the front. So thank you so much for watching. I'll include some closer up videos at the end or some uh, photos at the end. Uh, watch May 4th. This Saturday, we are going to be doing a deal of the week on National Scrapbooking Day this week for our deal. So I thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again next time.